हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज फार्माकोलॉजी लेक्चर्स सो हियर इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स वी वुड कवर ऑल द फार्माकोलॉजी लेक्चर्स बेसिकली ऑल द फार्माकोलॉजी टॉपिक्स ए टू जेड प्लस वी विल आल्सो ट्राई एंड सॉल्व द कैरीज वी आर बेसिकली कवरिंग द थिंग्स विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर स्टूडेंट्स सो वी आर मेनली फोकसिंग ऑन टू पॉइंट सिस्टम Uh, and trying to making things more easier for students. If you are a medico or a paramedical students like pharmacy, nursing, physiotherapy, lab technicians, dental, whichever field you are, if you are having a subject pharmacology, uh, this series of lectures will help you a lot. So, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe this channel and go through this series of lectures. Once you'll go through, it would be easier for you to read through the books. Or sometimes, if you are not able to read the books, then also it will work. So this is our first lecture. Without delay, let's start with it. So that is general pharmacology principles related to introductions. Now, uh, first of all, let us let's see what is pharmacology. That pharmacology basically word itself is in divided. into two things that is one is related to pharma and other is logy so pharma obviously that is something related to drugs like now when we say drugs one thing that comes in our mind is those layman terminology of drugs in movies and in many series we see drugs as a abuse substance or the substance of misuse but here in pharmacology we will take this drug as medicines so most of the things or terminology we would be using as drugs and keep that thing in mind that these drugs are not those which are having abuse potential okay so drugs in general we would be talking these are more of a medicinal so what is pharmacology basically it's a, a science or the study which involves uh, information or knowledge related to these drugs we are introducing drugs eventually it's a chemical substance we are introducing those chemical substances or chemical molecules in a living system in a human body so what happens once that substance goes in your body we know that that these drugs produces positive effects and mainly because of that we are using them but they do also have negative effects or side effects so we will study both of these things and how our body reacts so all these things all this knowledge about these drugs that is pharmacology <clears throat> so it's knowledge about drugs for effective and safe use for medicinal purposes uh next we will see uh, some important scientist who played an important role in this pharmacology we need to just remember few Magandhi and Bernard, they they were they they were the pioneers who did animal experiments, and we know initially to know about the physiological system of our body, they were doing animal experiments, and from that they were be knowing that these chemical substances or these neurotransmitters rather are responsible for few of the actions. Rudolf Buchheim, one more you can remember, uh, he founded the first Institute of Pharmacology in Germany. 1847 and this is important this uh, th- this guy is important this is oswald smidberg ye aapko they can ask you in mcq as well or some some questions as well he is a father of pharmacology so they can it can be asked like who is the father of pharmacology there is oswald smidberg so he developed a lot of fundamental concepts in pharmacology so these were few of the scientists you can remember now this pharmacological science has been divided into mainly two parts one is pharmacodynamics and one is pharmacokinetics let's see superficially then we'll go deep into deep what this pharmacodynamic means now what it says pharmacodynamic means what drug does to the body means once we have given a dose of a particular drug the drug goes inside the body and how it produces its effects so the word is how how this drug produces its effects what is its mechanism how it produces its positive effect how it produces negative effects how it produces side effects all these things are mainly included in pharmacodynamics and then what is pharmacokinetic what is pharmacokinetic it is 
what body does to the drug means you have given a drug that drug goes inside your body then what happens that this drug gets absorbed from your intestine goes into the different system of your body it gets metabolized and it gets excreted so it's an ADME study A for absorption B for distribution M for metabolism and E for excretions so all this ADME thing that is related to pharmacokinetics so always remember what pharmacodynamics is that is more of drugs mechanism of action how this drug works and what is pharmacokinetic means what happens to drug once it goes inside your body so a d m e things that is related to pharmacokinetics so hope things would be clear superficially we'll go deep in the particular lecture and we'll see the deeper meanings and things associated with it now as we know what this drug means as i told you these definitions are frequently asked in your examinations some of the definitions you need to mug up or you need to memorize this is one of them so you need to memorize those things try and remember some important points or important words that are uh, there in your definitions so what it says it's any substance or product it has been used or intended to be used for what to modify or explore the physiological system or pathological states for benefit of recipient so there are few things there in these definitions first this is a substance we are introducing in the body next thing is for what why so answer is to modify or explore the physiological system either you want to know the physiological system or you want to modify the pathological states for an example normal physiological system of a body is keeping your temperature normal so if your temperature is normal in a particular limit so that body is normal but if your temperature goes above that particular limit you need to introduce some drugs so that it can come again to normal so here in first case this is normal physiological thing and you have introduced this drug to modify this pathological thing and so that your pathological state comes to normal again so we are introducing drug to modify or explore the physiological system or pathological state for what eventually or mostly for the benefit of recipients that is what we want that is our main benefit the benefit of the recipient that is our main goal rather if patient is not comfortable if patient is having any pathology in this body like for an example patient is having fever patient is having infection patient is having cancers all those things so we are introducing drugs and we are trying to eliminate those things and again so that patient's body can become normal or the physiological systems can again work so this is a drug definition you can remember in this way so here drugs almost we would be using it word as a medicine and not as a substance of abuse as i told you earlier one more definition uh, that is needed to know that is pharmacotherapeutics <coughs> it's simple pharmacotherapeutic means mean application part you know for an example if you know things about drugs right for an example you know things about paracetamol now the application of that pharmacological informations with knowledge about the disease for its prevention and cure you know things about paracetamol now you apply those things or the knowledge of this paracetamol you give it to your patients and treat the particular symptoms so that is its application of knowledge that is called as pharmacotherapeutics what it involves selecting appropriate drug according to symptoms or according to disease its dosage its duration and stage of disease so many criteria are there for choosing a particular drug in particular dosage formulations and giving it to the patient for some duration so all these things related to drugs main thing is application that is pharmacotherapeutics
Hope you are clear. Then what is clinical pharmacology? Now we know, or, or, or many of the uh, general knowledge has been there, or it's, it's a burning topic now these days. We all know what clinical trials are. Clinical trials, people know that these are some kind of research or some kind of studies which has been done in patients before the drug actually comes into the market. So that is it. It's a study, it's basically a scientific study of drugs in men. So it's not a haphazard, it's, it's in a proper way, it's through a proper guideline and it's through proper channel. So it's a scientific study of these drugs in men. Study of drugs in healthy volunteer and or in patients. So why do we study these things in humans? The aim is to generate the data about efficacy and safety for the use of that drug. So if we want to know the effects of this drug or if you want to know the side effects or the adverse profile of this drug, initially we do those we do study of this drugs in humans and then eventually that com drug comes into the market after approval from particular authorities that is mostly FDA. So all these things, all this trial related to thing, all this research related to things that comes under this part that is clinical pharmacology. Now what is chemotherapy? Uh, mostly we know chemotherapy that is more related to cancers right but that is not the only thing that is related to this term chemotherapy means treatment of infections or malignancy so it includes cancer as well but also includes infections with specific drugs that have selective toxicity for infective organism or malignant cell so we are choosing a particular drug to kill or to affect the organism either if it's case of infection or we are choosing to damage the malignant cell if it's a case of malignancy. So treatment of systemic infections or malignancy with specific drugs that have selective toxicity for infective organism or malignant cell with no or minimal effects on host cells so chemotherapy basically is giving a particular drug for the treatment of infections or malignancy so it includes both cancer as well as non-cancerous that is infection thing so but is it include the treatment of hypertension no it it it, it doesn't include treatment of hypertension in this because hypertension is not been caused by any infective agents okay so it includes infections and malignancy so keep that thing in mind so we are choosing drugs to decrease the infections and to kill the malignant cells to minimize the effects on with minimal effects on host cells or minimal side effects now many a time students get confused what pharmacy is and what is pharmacology okay so many a time students ask sir what is the difference between pharmacy and pharmacology so pharmacy basically it's a vast thing right what it, it, it it's a pharmaceutical industry has been the whole industry so from collection of particular material from the identification of the particular molecule to its purification its synthesis standardization process and making a particular dosage form to dispensing those dosage form so thing is for an example we searched a new molecule that is related to killing pain killing effects so we have researched a new molecule for pain killing effects then developing those new molecules then developing some dosage forms like tablets or syrups or injections then doing clinical trials on humans, then getting approval of use that drugs in, 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 in real life patients to all the adverse drug reactions profile. So all these things are included in pharmacy. Right. While pharmacology is a very specific thing. 
pharmacology we will study the effects of drug only so we would be not be having more information about compounding and dispensing drugs and preparing those dosage form that is not more related to pharmacology so pharmacy it's a wide thing it's related to large scale manufacturing of drugs so manufacturing is also there and it's a technology science okay so pharmacy is a wide science so hope you uh, know now the difference what is things pharmacy is and pharmacology is toxicology toxicology is basically we know that study of poisonous effects of drugs now these poisonous effects this they are they are real life poison they may be a household chemicals or environmental pollutants industrial agriculture or homicidal poisons that that might be a poisonous effect of drug if we take drug in a larger doses for more time it can produce some poisonous effects so it includes that, that as well and emphasis on detecting those substances and preventing those poisonous cases and treatment of those poisoning so all this study is included in toxicology so poisonous effects of drug whether it is overdose or it's real life poisons or real life chemicals that we are using for different purposes like household things or industrial agriculture it if it's a homicide poisoning or suicidal things detecting those poisoning preventing those things and treatment of this all these things are included in toxicology so thank you that is a first uh, superficial summary or definition i would say or introductory thing we'll go with another part in next lecture thank you very much